Hi, my name is Stuart McAppin Miller. I'm here to present a new series of works, Revelations, A Portrait of Magic. The whole series is based upon an idea, an idea that's been created by one person. They've gone into the kind of deep part of who they are to understand how they can create something. But, but this whole series of stories have been created based upon things that have been created before, but reinvented. And I think everyone kind of does that to some extent, but what we try to do, we try to do it with an original association to it. Um, and the whole idea of like, I think Harry Potter is based upon like kind of stories that have happened forever basically. And for me, it's about reinventing and taking something beyond that and reinventing it and, and showing it to a, a new like generation, I suppose. Magic is a kind of human made idea it's like magic is purely based upon the human being and how they understand magic. Magic is just an imagination. That's all it is. If you want to believe, you can believe. Everything is about self-belief. And the whole idea of like projecting yourself and just not losing that almost like childlike imagination and carrying that forward into your adult life, that's imagination. Revelations are based upon the whole idea of like something that reveals it, it itself, basically. The whole understanding of based upon a very religious thing. And I suppose the idea of this collection is quite similar in that basis. I mean, it has that understanding of like revealing itself to someone. Beyond that, it's bigger. Revelations is something which is, it's like an idea it's not something set in stone, it's just an idea. It's revealing a possibility and a potential. And I think with this series of work, uh, that's what it's doing. The whole process of actually creating this like, series of work has been a really, really difficult process. Six years have passed. It's a long time in the process of growing as an artist, an artist who wants to develop all the time. So everything constantly changes. All the understandings of my layers, everything that goes into those things change as I grow. And over the last six years, I'm a different person. It's like, and my whole understanding of life is different. So my paintings become different. My kids grew up with this. Um, like generations have moved forward and they'll introduce this to their kids. This is like a fantastic part of history that is like just quite phenomenal basically. Um, it's something that will last for a long time. It will go on and on and on. I went to Glen Finnan and there was probably a thousand kids there all dressed as Harry Potter waiting for the train to come over the Glenfinn viaduct. No, this is not going anywhere. This is something that is like a massive part of history. And whether you like it or not, you know, it's, it's going to be here for a long, long, long time. An artist like, like inspires himself just by working quickly and just like imaginatively. You know, like, like to have six years on a whole project, the project like should be so exciting immediately but you can easily lose that enthusiasm. Luckily, with this project, I became more excited. An artist like, would naturally just think, I just want to do this start to finish very quickly. But when you've got this long term and you want to get to the end of it, but you don't want to compromise what you do, you want to actually make things better as you develop, as you grow, as you produce your work, and as you change your opinions based upon everything around you. And for me, this has been like an incredibly exciting project to walk in and see these pictures. I'm proud. I'm super proud. <laughs>